of clumsiness. Defensively, there's been a lot of clumsiness in possession for both teams. Here's a chance, though, for Yelich. Wayne Troy took it at his stride and finished off beautifully. A goal out of nothing from Wayne Troy. His second goal for the glory. And they're up and running at ME Bank Stadium. And just when the game needed a spark, too. And Wayne Troy venturing high up the field. It almost looked like this was going to go wrong as well, but Troy with beautiful, beautiful athleticism rounded the ball up and kept it in his stride and a finish of precise nature. This one looked like it was going behind Troy, but dragged it magnificently. And that's the play ultimately that beat Tarek Elrich, who was the man looking to cover. Yelich linking up. Milicevic beaten by the Yelich pass and Tarek Elrich couldn't get across. Couldn't be expected to read that one. Excellent work, Wayne Troy, and from nothing. Laura's first touch, not as intended, but it found Sakura, who then released Sekolovsky. Not a bad ball either. Pellegrino! Adriano Pellegrino with a superb strike. He's been out of sorts today, but he just waited for that opportunity. We've had to wait here at the ME Bank Stadium for passages of consistently good football, but that goal was mouth-watering. You know, with the greatest of respect to Adriano Pellegrino, today hasn't been one of his best days, but this will be one of the better moments of his career. Fantastic goal in construction, beautiful ball by Sekolovsky to the back stick, and you were just thinking, Adriano, just hold your nerve, hold your nerve. I don't know if he held his nerve or not, but he found the target, Perth, two goals to the good. That is a beautiful piece of finishing, very difficult to execute, and almost the best parts of that goal, the finish aside, happened on halfway when Perth first launched the attack. Great football, Perth Glory. Right in front of the shed from Adriano Pellegrino, his third goal for the Glory, scored a cracker against the Melbourne victory, of course.